This is your guy, S.D. Booker, with a toast to the men. Before you listen to this video, hit the subscribe button. Definitely hit the like button. Hit that like button. Let's go. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. Welcome to A Toast to the Men with your guy, S.D. Booker. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for the support. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button before we get started. Let's go. Pastor Creflo Dollar and Kevin Samuels bump heads and clash over the minds and souls of the black woman. Let's dig into it. So, give you some backstory. I guess yesterday, maybe the day before, I came across this on O'Shea Jackson's YouTube channel. You can check him out. And he was talking about this uh, this incident or this video clipping of where Pastor Creflo Dollar, who's the pastor of a mega church based out of Georgia, but this man has an international presence. He gets donations, tithes, offerings from around the world. He speaks in different countries on several continents. He's a big deal in that realm, in that world. He's a big deal. So, uh, Creflo, Pastor Creflo Dollar, was delivering a sermon. And at some point in the sermon, he started talking about false teachings and people providing false knowledge. And then he goes on to say that his wife and daughter brought to his attention this man. Let's pause. He says, this man doesn't even acknowledge him by his name, tries to dismiss him, tries to minimize this man's impact. Let's continue. This man who's going around talking bad to women, talking bad about women, and telling women they can only get a millionaire if they act and dress a certain way. Well, some of that is half-truth, some of that is total fabrication. But all of it is to steer women away from Kevin Samuels and to steer women back to Creflo Dollar's ministry and back to uh, what he's saying, what he's selling. Now, for him to say this man as if he doesn't know who Kevin Samuels is, I'm not buying it. You know who this man is. Creflo is based out of Georgia, although, like I said, he's internationally known, travels quite a bit. He has his, his finger on the pulse of what's going on in current events, especially in Georgia. Kevin Samuels has a huge following. I believe his base is out of Georgia. I know he goes back to New York and Georgia a lot, but I think he, he's, he's stationed out of Georgia for the majority uh, of his time. So he definitely knows who this man is. Now, let's say he doesn't. But for your wife and daughter to bring this man to your attention, uh, he must be a big deal. For you to look at a few videos and then felt compelled to speak on this man indirectly in your sermon, lets me know this guy is making some noise, this guy. <laughs> As a uh, Creflo Dollar addressed him, this guy, Kevin Samuels, is making some noise, and I think, I think Creflo is worried. I think he's worried. I think he's bothered because he sees this man's impact, and I'm sure he's looked at the numbers, he's looked at the following, the views, and uh, he's worried because Kevin Samuels is stepping into his territory. Now, what is his territory? His territory isn't to bring men, black men or men in general, to Christ or to the church. Uh, his ministry is about bringing women, particularly black women, because that's who he targets, black women, to his ministry, to his church. And then the children, because what? The children or with the moms most of the time. Not even if the women are in a relationship. 
not just single women, even if they're in a relationship, the children, the small children are with the mom most of the time, especially going to church, man. You, you've seen those situations where dad may not go to church, but mom gets up and goes to church and she takes the kids, but dad is back at the house. That ad happened a lot in my neighborhood and uh, it goes on a lot, uh, you know, with buddies of mine. Now, when I was going to church as an adult, a married man with a family, I never did that. I led, you know, my family to the church, uh, but I never stayed back. You know, I was never in a situation where a woman would go to church and I would stay back at the house. I was actually leading my family uh, to the church. <clears throat> now, if you read the book of Toast to the Man, I mentioned the church and I mentioned some, uh, some pros and cons of organized religion or the church as far as the building. Not the church in here. That's where the real church is in here. So I mentioned some pros and cons. I didn't bash the church, the building, uh, organized religion. But I did mention uh, that I'm not involved in it. And some pros and cons with it. I do think at a certain level in life, it's necessary. It could be very uh, beneficial. And it was beneficial to me at a phase in my life. But I think there's levels to it. And then I think you eventually have an awakening and you got to graduate to a different level. Uh, I noticed pastors don't want you to graduate to a different level because they will lose. If everybody graduated from that level of organized religion, they will suffer. They will suffer, man. So... That's my own theory on it. But why is Creflo so focused and so compelled to address Kevin Samuels? And then it wasn't even in a respectful, manly way. I try to be dismissive of this man. That lets me know he's bothering this man. And Kevin Samuels didn't even pass the first leg. He didn't throw the first blow. His presence is bothering Creflo Dollar. And I think it's bothering a lot of clergymen. I think it is. Not all, but it's, it's, it's wearing and bothering a lot of clergymen because what's happening is, and this isn't mentioned enough, women are awakening also. There's a lot of, there are a lot of women who support Kevin Samuels. And I know that's not highlighted because that's not going to sell. They don't want you to know that. The powers that be don't want you to know that. Publications and the people behind these publications don't want you to know that women, particularly black women, a large majority of them are supportive of Kevin Samuels. That's not what they're going to let you know. That's dangerous, right? He's messing up the status quo. He's shaking up the system. And this is why Creflo Dollar is speaking out. This is why. When women, particularly black women, start waking up and start really getting things back in order and getting in order with things, the church is going to take a tremendous hit. I read a study, looked at some numbers. The black woman is more religious, more religious than anyone. It's more religious than the black man. It's more religious than the white woman. It's more religious than the white man. It's a study. I looked at a few studies. The black woman is the most religious demographic and goes to church more more than any other demographic. Next in line is the black man. The black man goes to church more, is more religious than the white woman and the white man. Isn't that something? I just want you to look at that, man. We're the biggest percentage, we make up the biggest percentage of church goers. But 
We're behind statistically in so many other important categories. Wealth, good credit score, generational wealth, uh, owning real estate, owning stocks and bonds, uh, high school graduation rate, entrepreneurship, marriage, um, low percentage, no, not, we're not involved, we're not at the top of low percentage of having kids out of, out of, out of wedlock. But we're so religious. Something ain't adding up. Something ain't adding up. We're so religious. We're super Christians. And I'm not talking about me. I'm just speaking in general now because I am black. But we're not leading progressively in a positive way. There's something wrong with that. Um, this sounds like a brainwashing to me. And so when black women start waking up, organized church, these mega churches, even the small churches are going to take a huge hit. And I don't even know, man, if uh, Creflo and preachers like him promote being married. I have been going to church since I can remember. I was always in church, probably since birth. And I had to go to church. Sometimes three times a week. I was in the choir. I was never on the usher board, but I was in the choir. Uh, you know, was all involved in the Easter plays, different things, right? Uh, all kind of events, you know, uh, vacation, Bible school, just different things with the church, man. I was raised in the church, same church, right? Uh, from birth to probably when I went to the military at uh, 17, 18. And then I stopped going on the regular. Once I got my own place, got out of the house. Then when I got grown, I tried to get back into it. I just wasn't feeling it. I needed more. I knew there was something more out there. Uh, a lot of things were not making sense to me. And this is the reason. People like me is the reason Creflo had to address this. Even in the indirect, unmanly way, the disrespectful way he did, the di dismissive way he did, he had to address it to put a bug in your ear. And he was sending a message to black women because he needs to get them back on board. Yeah, he needs to get them back on board. So now there's a fight for the minds and I would say the souls of the black woman. And let me tell you something, man. I can't speak for all women, although um, all races of women, although I've dated uh, white women, I've dated um, Hispanic, Mexican women. I've dated uh, an Ethiopian woman. Uh, and I'll say this, man. Women in general, well, I can't speak for all women on this. Women in general, but particularly black women, I noticed. <clears throat> man, they would break bread with you. They would spend money with you if they believe in you. Or if it's the new thing, if it's the new hot thing and everybody's doing it, they'll join in. They got to have it. They got to do it, too. Um, but if they believe in you, if they like you, and I'm not talking about in an intimate way, if they just like you, your, your, your character, your vibe, your frequency, uh, or if they find you attractive, man, they will support you. They will break bread. The biggest supporter of my book, listen, the title is A Toast to the Men. The biggest supporter is the black woman. They have purchased the book the most. The black woman. Uh, 
they want to get behind, I think, a man. And I'm not even talking about, again, in an intimate way. But they want to get behind a man they feel is doing his thing. That's excelling. That's progressing. They'll get behind it. They'll support. They'll break bread. They'll break bread with no questions asked if they believe in you. Pastors know this. Women love a man in leadership. They love a man in uniform. They love a man in leadership. They love an alpha man. They, they love an alpha man. Most of them love an alpha man until they get an alpha man. And then they, like, then they find out, well, damn, there's a, there's a code of conduct. There's a bar. <laughs> you know, I must live by. There's an expectation. But just on the surface, I believe all women or most women love an alpha man. Pastors know this. They are the shepherd of their flock. Uh, they are the alpha male in that system, in that building, in that church. Women, like I said, love an alpha man, love a man that's speaking positivity, love a man who they feel is progressing, who is growing, who's leading in the proper way, who is disciplined. When they perceive who is disciplined, they will get behind that. They will follow. They will break bread. No questions asked, man. I know this for a fact. And this is why Creflo had to speak up. Kevin Samuels is shaking up some things. Now, I don't know where either of these brothers' hearts lies. Lie. I don't know. The pure hearts hearts with bad intentions I don't know but I know Creflo is disturbed right he is disturbed and I know this he's handling this situation in a very immature and unchristian way All right I'm going to leave you with this man even Jesus sat down with sinners and I'm not calling Kevin Samuels a sinner, but according to Creflo Dollar, Kevin Samuels is uh, teaching falsehoods, is teaching, giving, providing distorted knowledge, according to Creflo Dollar. So that would label him a sinner, right? Even Jesus sat down with the sinner, sinners. Right, because Jesus was not in competition. Jesus, his ego didn't play a part in it. Jesus didn't even want to be praised. Look it up. Jesus didn't want to be praised, man. These people praising Jesus, he didn't want to be praised. I see nothing but ego coming from Creflo Dollar on this. To mention that man in a dismissive and disrespectful way. And uh, that's not Christian-like. If you was really about the business of saving souls and, and, and uh, bringing souls to Christ, you would reach out to that man, Kevin Samuels, and have a discussion, a one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, he could definitely get in contact with Kevin Samuels if his intentions were pure, if ego wasn't involved. But he'll never reach out to the man in private because this isn't, this isn't about an understanding. This isn't about Christ. This is about money and influence. It has been affected and impacted. This is what this is all about, man. You better wake up, people. Black woman, you better wake up. Look at what's happening. Why is this man addressing Kevin Samuels in this way? Why not reach out to this man in private if... Your intentions are pure. If you're about saving souls, if you're about giving people an understanding, right? Because check it out, man. Jesus met with Matthew, the tax collector. And uh, even today, but especially back then, man, tax collectors were not looked upon fondly. They uh, were thieves, hustlers, right 
very dishonest people. They uh, not only overtaxed the people, but the tax collector were Jews working for a Roman Empire. Right? So, it's like my brother is working for a foreigner coming to me for taxes. And then he's overcharging me. Jesus worked with that guy. Right? But what happens is when Jesus can work with that guy, you know what happens, man? If he can convert that guy and touch that guy's heart and soul, that guy is going to go bring his friends over that think just like him. They're doing the same things he's, he's doing. He's going to bring them over to him. Hey, man, I'll be over here tonight talking to this cat Jesus. Hey, man, he's deep. You might want to come. He's going to bring those guys. And you know what? Those guys are going to be converted. So Creflo was pure. His heart was pure. His mind was pure. He would reach out to the brother in private. And if they can come to an understanding, he can convert Kevin Samuels. Man, how powerful would that be if Kevin Samuels went and got some other buddies? And said, hey, man, I've been telling y'all the wrong thing. I've been preaching the wrong thing. I've been selling the wrong thing. And I'm, I'm not saying he is, but I'm just playing devil's advocate, right? And uh, how powerful would that be? So, man, really take a look at this, man. Really take a look at what's going on. Right? Think outside the box. Think from an objective 360 view from all angles, different perspectives. And always ask why. That's where the truth lies. The truth lies in the why. Why, 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 why? That's where the truth lies. So I'm not judging any of these brothers. Um, I'm not taking a side. Kevin Samuels did respond uh, in a respectful manner, you know? Kevin Samuels even said he doesn't even have a problem with pastors being paid the mega bucks. He doesn't have a problem with that. And I don't either. I've, I've always told that, man. I got a brother that's a, a pastor. And I've always said that I don't have a problem with uh, pastors being paid. They should get uh, what's complimentary uh, to their effort. Right? If they're traveling the world. They're doing a lot of studying, right? They're giving a lot of their time, visiting hospitals, visiting the sick and shutting. Hey, man, they should be compensated, man. They should be compensated for that. They shouldn't have to drive around in a horse and buggy. You know, they, they shouldn't. They should be compensated fairly. Uh, if their compensation equates to them being able to ride around in a Rolls Royce, fine. If it equates to them uh, being able to ride around in a Honda Civic, hey, so be it. But yeah, they, they deserve to uh, reap the fruits of their labor. They deserve that. I have no problem with that. Uh, and I don't think Kevin Samuels does either. So, uh, He's very respectful to, to a Creflo Dollar. But just ask why. Just ask why. And I'll leave you with this. Creflo Dollar is the same guy, same pastor. Told his congregation they need to buy him. They need to buy him a $65 million airplane. For him to continue the ministry at a high level. Hey, I'm not passing judgment. I'm just saying. Ask why, and that's where the truth is. Hey, as always, from me to you, love, peace.